ப்ராஜெக்ட் கோட் ITPW13 ப்ராஜெக்ட் டைட்டில் எனர்ஜி மேனேஜ்மெண்ட் சிஸ்டம் ஃபார் ஸ்மால் ஸ்கேல் ஹைப்ரிட் விண்ட் சோலார் பேட்ரி பேஸிக் மைக்ரோகேட் இன் திஸ் டைட்டில் த ஹைப்ரிட் இஸ் மென்சன்டு ஃபார் த காம்பினேஷன் ஆஃப் விண்ட் சோலார் பேட்ரி இட் மேக்ஸ் த கிரிட் அஸ் ஹைப்ரைட் so in general the the way we are using the three type of uh, in sources for the, for the microgrid means in case the wind and solar the throughout the day the same output is not coming because of the natural uh, in case the solar uh, morning time having the high solar sorry low uh, solar irradiation uh, in um, in evening having the high the, so the changes in uh, solar irradiation changes throughout the day the wind also depends upon the air speed the output is also changing so that time the battery helps to satisfy the load demand generally in conventional system only solar pv and battery only you may only use to make as a hybrid energy generation but the the major drawback is some sometimes uh, the whole month uh, having the low solar irradiation means uh, the battery does not get the supportive battery charging from the solar panel so that time the system had failed to satisfy the load so major drawback of the existing system is the only the battery to load or panel to load our grid is possible so it's only the unidirectional okay that the bidirectional option is not in the existing system so due to the separate module it it becomes a complex and having the high cost for making the system in a proposed converter we are using wind pv and battery it connected in wind is connected to wind out, wind in wind output is wind energy is conversion output is ac so in case we have to connect it to the dc grid means co- using the rectifier convert into dc and connected to the dc grid in case wind wind, uh, wind generation does not uh, get to satisfy the grid power means that time panel support the grid the panel also failed means the battery support to fulfill the grid demand is a ac dc grid in case uh, we want to satisfy the ac grid means that time the rectifier output is convert into dc is convert into ac and give to the grid ac grid so the same for the pv and battery also so this system is used for both dc and ac grid it is a major advantage for making this we have to design the energy storage energy management algorithm the main advantage of this system is in even any natural condition it easily satisfy the load demand so in a input is a three input and the output is a two output system so it is highly reliable this is a black diagram so it is already said it is used for both ac and dc microgrid for the dc microgrid for the distribution side the ac microgrid ac grid for the distribution side so it satisfied the both and the system is a bidirectional because the battery even charging and discharging type is so the bidirectional converter is used the main application is it is a grid connected application for both ac and dc and renewable energy application the all the source we have fixed is here yeah, renewable energy pv and wind the software to making the simulation is matlab and for a prototype um the pic pro for for uh, for for giving the program to pick using a mp la microprocessor lab 
So the MP lab is user 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 in a prototype and hardware. The mainly the for for switching action the MOSFET is used and for the prototype concern it we have to give the low power so 220 to 24 volt transformer is used and PIC microcontroller PIC 16 F877 is used for solar panel 12 volt 10 watts panel is used and other passive and active components are used in the prototype model. We conclude that the wind PV and battery the both having supported to satisfy the load demand in grid side it is a major concept in case the anyone failed the grid will be satisfied because any other backup from other than wind pv and battery supported to satisfy the grid thank you